you're in year 12, I can pretty much guarantee at some point you've sat at the classroom, at the back of that classroom maybe, for your new A-level subjects and thought, I have made a massive mistake. This is wrong. I am in the wrong school. I don't know what I'm doing. Everyone else here appears to get it. They're all getting on with stuff and I'm sitting here and I don't get it and I'm feeling overwhelmed and I don't know what to do and I don't know who to ask. Please do not worry. This is a completely normal feeling to have at this time of year. Everybody is feeling like this. Well, not everybody, but everybody in your class at some point has had these kind of feelings. So if you are feeling overwhelmed with the workload, if you are sitting there thinking that you can't do the questions when everyone else is, you know, getting on and doing the questions and asking the, the right questions and getting good marks on homework and you don't feel like you're doing that, please please believe me when I say everyone is having the same doubts as you. I know some other people in your class are sitting there looking like they're a lot more confident, seeming like they're just getting it and they're going with the flow. But trust me, the jump from GCSE to A-level, not only in the how hard the work is, but the expectation of how independent we expect you to be, that the pace of the lessons, how much independent study, how much homework you're expected to do, all of this is a massive, massive jump and we do not expect anybody just to, to go in and be getting on with it and we'll be completely happy and confident with this straight away. We know this is hard. Um, so if you are one of these people that is struggling like that, please don't think that, you know, actually a was the wrong choice for you and you need to go and do something else. This is a completely normal feeling that you are feeling. Other people are feeling like this as well. Now there are lots and lots of things that you can do to help with this. So one of the things I strongly suggest that you do is you set up like you know a WhatsApp group or a Discord server or a Slack group for your class. So you can share PowerPoints on there, you can share videos related to the class, you know. It's nice being in kind of like bigger groups, kind of like you know an A-Level Chemistry online study group, but if you have one that's just for your class and even really specifically related to the topic that you've been going through in that lesson today. So, you know, when you're at home doing your homework and you're stuck on question 5B and you don't really get it, being able to pop a message onto that group is really, really helpful. So a study, an online study group, specifically for your class, is something that I think can be really, really helpful. Now, the next one's gonna be slightly controversial, but a cake rotor. A cake rotor is a really, really good idea. Um, so to get everyone in your class who wants to dream in, and say so this week you'll bring cakes for everybody, next week you'll bring cakes for everybody, next week you'll bring cakes for everybody. It's just a nice thing to do, especially for the last lesson on a Friday or first lesson on a Monday or midday on a Wednesday. Just, I really like cake, okay? Um, cake rotors are a really, really nice thing to do. Um, one school that I taught in a few years ago, the a level Maths class, did a full roast dinner. Everyone bought in, kind of like, you know, one person bought in the meat, one person bought in the roast potatoes, one person bought in the crackers. Full on roast dinner. So there are lots of options and lots of ways you can have fun with this. Now, this is sort of something that you do need to check with your teachers, but it is a way of making the lessons nicer. Now, if you're feeling slightly confused and you don't know how to keep track of things, then um, the new courses that we've got on the website on Primrose Kane Academy um, will let, take you through the entire course. So we've got uh, Animal Maths, Chemistry, Biology and Psychology up there at the moment. Um, and starting from the beginning, so following the spec, we've got video, questions, video, questions, and you can have a free account and you can just go through and work out which bits you know, try the questions, say, yeah, actually, I'm really confident with that, or not very confident with that, I need to just go and do a little bit more work. And if you want to, you can sign up to have the, the weekly live tutorials as well, but that is an option for you. You don't have to do that. You can just go through and follow the, the free plan on there to, to make sure you're keeping track of things, to make sure you don't fall in behind, because that is a really, really important thing, not falling behind. So. What I'm gonna ask you to do is, when we're thinking about your folders, make sure at the end of each week, you are going through the folders. Don't leave it until Christmas, and then get your folder with your massive notes out, which you know, you've dropped a bottle of Coke in there, and not screwed the lid on, and something's got like, water stained, or there's been an apple left in the bottom of the bag, and it's all got mold in, you have to throw a few sections of notes away. 
oh you wrote an abbreviation for something in October and by the time you come around to Christmas you've got no idea what that abbreviation actually means. Please try and keep on top of your notes, please try and keep on top of um, moving your notes from your home folder, your school folder, the one that goes back and forth to your home folders where you're writing up neat notes and things like that. Um, so please don't worry if you're in year 12 and you're or if you're in year 13 you're feeling really really stressed and overwhelmed it's okay it is completely normal for this time of year ouch this is why in some videos i like explain scratches